We're now ready to go over the uh, main connection points. Our first connection point is going to be on the side of the engine compartment facing you. As you can see, your fuel rail is right here. And we are going to be plugging in to the end of this rail. Here's your plug, that's a three pin. Female going into a male on the plug or a male on the rail itself. So we'll be taking our female portion of the harness and plugging it into the factory location. Heard that snap and click, that's good and secure. Now we'll take the factory portion, female portion of the harness from the John Deere harness itself and plug into our male portion of our module harness. heard that snap and click that's good now, there's only one way for those to go on of course you can't get those reversed now we will run the map sensor portion of our harness up along the factory wiring loom to the top of the valve cover by the turbo that's where our map sensor is located now. Okay, on the 9 liter you'll see on your installation instructions uh, we give several different guides to where the map sensor is located as I said for the different applications, different engine applications we have but on this 9 liter in specific the map sensor is going to be next to the turbo which of course the turbo is right here uh, it'll be closer back to the end of the engine on a tractor but it's going to be a 3 pin map connector as most people know, map sensors are three pins, so it's going to be about the only three pin located up here. Just remove it. It's female going into the male portion of the plug. Uh, one thing to touch base on, too, as well, in the instruction manual, it'll say that from the factory, John Deere puts a gray protective sleeve on the female portion of the map sensor. It's very essential to remove that when getting ready to do this install whether it's on this module or a JD2800 because what can happen is that sleeve will get jammed into the male portion of our harness and it will cause an inconsistent connection. Uh, what you'll see if this happens, if it gets jammed, uh, the piece of equipment may not start, it may run rough, or it may just run on stock and not the two uh, 10 and 20 percent settings. So be sure to remove that. It's not going to affect anything. That's sealed. So we'll just snap that in. So we'll go ahead and plug the female portion of our harness into the map sensor itself on the head of the engine. Of course there's only one way for these to go in as well. You can't get them reversed. That's clicked and secure. Now we will take the male portion of our harness and plug back into the factory female portion on the John Deere harness. This completes our install for the JDCR2000 module on this 9.0 liter tier 3 John Deere Powertech engine. Uh, we're going to go over some of the areas where we tied the harness and the module up to. As you can see here, there's a factory loom coming out from below the fuel pump. We just tied the module up here as well as any excess. We tucked it in behind that. And of course, you can't see up in the shielded area of the compartment, uh, but there's a wire loom that also goes on top of the valve cover. We tied the rest of the harness to that as well as placing the map sensor, uh, excess map sensor portion of the harness to the wire loom on the engine itself. Uh, since with that being close to the turbo, we don't want that to get into it or get uh, any high wear or heat on it because it'll melt it and it may cause malfunctions in the future. As well as the module here, uh, it's in a good open area. There should be good airflow through here. Uh, not directly on the engine, but a little bit away. So this shouldn't have any issue with getting any heat or wear. Uh, just a couple main things to go over, as I said, just uh, snap all your connections, make sure they're secure and keep everything away from heat and wear and moving components. Uh, we want to congratulate this customer on purchasing another great product. Uh, hopefully they buy it more and uh, look to utilize our product more in the future. They should see great results as far as fuel efficiency and performance, especially with them running their MacDon 40 foot draper they just purchased. It should make a world of difference as far as scooting that along through beans and wheat. Uh, just a couple things. I want to thank you guys again. Uh, be sure to check out our Facebook page, our YouTube page as well for further installation videos and instructions. If you guys have any questions, our number is listed on those sites as well on the box of all of our uh, products. 
So be sure to farm smart, farm efficient, farm with Agnes Solutions. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.